What's up, everybody? Welcome to some Hapatra. Snakes on a plane. Hope you're excited. Let's get our graveyard all squared up. We've got some partner action, Thrasios and Ravos. You get behind that. Usually ends up being uh, just another build of Super Friends. Hopefully, we'll see what it is. As far as our opening hand goes, we have Westville Abbey, Frexian Tower, uh, Toxic Deluge. Yeah, I mean, you know, if these were two colored sources, I would keep on this, but, um, yeah, this is essentially just kind of, uh, yeah, not exactly. Let's go on Mulligan on this one. Not the best opening ham. Kodoma's Reach, Tranquil Thicket, Glistening Oil. Let's go and ship this one back, too. That's not the best. Frexian Arena, Coat of Arms. Um, yeah, I guess this is something. Mold of Four. Yeah, we'll keep on this one. Why not? Uh, Blooming Marsh. Let's go and put that on the bottom. Okay, so let's go and get the uh, Misty down. We can go and crack that for a green black source. Why not? We'll have some fun. Let's grab the uh, Overgrown Tomb that we ended up shocking in. Put it into play tapped. Nope, and then we'll go on past turn. We are playing Hapatra, so whenever Hapatra deals combat damage to a player, you may put a minus one counter on target creature. Then whenever you put one or more minus one counters on a creature, on a creature, uh, create a 1-1 one -one green snake creature token with death touch. Playing against Thrasios, four mana, scry one, reveal the top card of your library. If it's a land card, put it on the battlefield, otherwise draw a card. Uh, then playing against Ravos, uh, flying other creatures you control, get plus one, plus one. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. There we go. Okay, um, let's go ahead and get the uh, wooded foothills down. Uh, what do we do? We want to go for yeah. Let's go and go for Hapatra. That way we can go Channeler. It's going to enter the battlefield with those minus one counters, and we'll get into a nice little snake. So let's go and grab the Bayou off this one. Let's go, Hapatra. Get down the Snake Queen herself. Get the Commander closed. Out. Anything else? No, we're going to go and pass turn. Okay, so we're looking at going for the Channeler. Uh, get the Channeler down next turn. Uh, we can also go for the Frexian Tower to sacrifice the Snake Token to uh, get into some black mana off that. And we still have Damnation to do a little bit of cleanup depending on what our opponent has going on. So, but yes, welcome to these Snakes on a Plane. It is def Hapatra, she's a fun commander, but it's definitely one of those decks you don't really want to mulligan down to four or whatever we did. So hopefully we kind of draw into some sweet stuff. Um, some good stuff for the deck is definitely stuff like uh, Coat of Arms. It's always a lot of fun. Or Sylvan Library, I'll take that. Um, let's see, is there any certain way we can sequence this? Get down the Frexian Tower, sacrifice a creature, add double black to our mana pool. But we're still going to have to get the snake token. To, so basically we're going to have to... Um, well, let's go ahead and swing in. There's going to be two extra snakes we can get. Yeah, let's go swing in with Hapatra. And we'll put a minus one counter on Hapatra. That's going to be an extra snake. There we go. Let's go click on Hapatra. That'll give us a nice little snake for the Frexine Tower. There we go. And then we can play that, do the black mana. Yeah, there we go. We can sync us that a little bit better. Okay, so let's play the Frexian Tower. Let's go for, um, let's sacrifice a creature, sacrifice the black snake token that's two black. Let's tap for green, go channeler. That's going to give us another snake. And we can use that last green mana to go for um, some uh, Sylvan Library. Start digging a little bit deeper. Let's go and put those on the channeler. There we go. That'll be one more snake token. And then let's use this last floating mana to go for the, it helps if we tap for green, go for the Sylvan Library. I will take that. Okay, so now um, we're basically, we're going to be digging pretty deep on this uh, Sylvan Library. You know, we're playing against Thrasios and Ravos. I played against them before. It tends to usually be su some sort of Super Friends or some sort of four-color control style deck. So we're probably going to be a little bit more aggressive with our Sylvan Libraries just to kind of get some stuff going. Let's see if our opponent has a board wipe or anything or what they're casting. Maybe going for one of their commanders. But we'll start digging deeper with the Sylvan Library. Okay, Thrasios is coming down. And let's see what else. They have two mana floating. Actually, yeah, two mana floating. And they go for the Demir Infiltrator. Can't be blocked, so there is a 20, 28 turn clock with the Demil Infiltrator out there. Let's see what they're going for. Let's see if we hit off the Beastmaster Ascension. I'll take that. And yes, we're going to use that ability. See, also we draw to Vampiric Tutor, Tutor and Eldrazi Monument. Uh, let's go ahead and put the Eldrazi Monument on top of the library. Oh, we can. Sh we just. Well. Yeah, it's going to be hard for us to really get around. Yeah, let's go ahead and put that on top of our library. We're going to pay four to keep this in the hand, and we're going to go ahead and yeah, hold on to the Beastmaster Ascension. Um, do we want to swing in with the snake token? We could use it for a Frexian Tower to go for the Beastmaster Ascension and go for Vampiric Tutor. We still have Channeler to take another uh, removing minus one counter from it to add a little bit more mana to our mana pool if we want to hold on to that. I think we may end up going for that. Uh, let's go ahead and go Beastmaster Ascension. We'll get that down. And, and with all these snake tokens... There we go. Uh, with all these snake tokens, it's really not that hard to get Beastmaster online, which is actually a really fun card to play with. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and... Do we want to swing in? We're going to be able to remove the counter from Channeler. We don't really want to... Well, we could swing with a Patra and recaster. Whenever she deals combat damage to a player. 
I'm just gonna be able to chum block on that one. Yeah, let's just go and hold off. Um, we still have the snake token. That way, if we uh, we could I'm trying to think what would allow it, we'll see what we want to search up with. But we want to get into a spot to where we can start really generating those snake tokens, and we can um, really take adv advantage of this Beastmaster Ascension. So, and also. Not on a side note, I record this video is coming after the Nekasaur video that got posted yesterday. Hey, sorry I played sloppy. <laughs> I just wanted to say that. Yeah, every once in a while, man, I just get, uh, I'll record, okay, Merf Merfolk Sovereign. Other Merfolks get plus one, target Merfolk can't be blocked. Okay, this is definitely a, uh, interesting, interesting build. We've got the Demir Infiltrator, which I've only seen in some very obscure builds of my uh, Minecrank, and then I've got the, <laughs> I don't know, I'm loving it. But yeah, hey, sorry about the, uh, the Negasaur video, man. Every once in a while, I'll just record for like, uh, for like two hours at a time, and when I get towards the end of that two-hour chunk, man, it is just, uh, I get tired, man. I get a little chatty, Kathy, and I get really tired. Uh, let's see, so I just make some mistakes. Uh, we do have Damnation in the hand to kind of reset on the board. Um, so we could go for Blood Artist at, at some point, um, or if we go for Black Sun Zenith, then we'll get a lot of Snake Tokens from that. That'll be a nice little Beastmaster Ascension we can follow up with. Um, let's go ahead and go Black Sun Zenith, I think. Let's make this a little bit smaller. Let's kind of double check. Um, so we're looking at, one, two, this is going to be six Snake Tokens. Beastmaster Ascension, yeah, let's go ahead and go for that. I think I kind of like that. Let's go for the, yeah, let's go for Black Sun Zenith. Let's grab that. It's going to go on top. We're going to draw for the turn. We're still going to see two more from the Sylvan Library. We did shuffle away that Eldrazi Monument, so that's not exactly what we're going to go for. Yes, we're going to use that ability. See, so we draw into Coat of Arms and Shrine. Oh, beautiful. Um, let's go ahead and keep on this. We're looking at one, two, three, four. We have some nice devotion for Shrine. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and pay four to keep in the hand, four to keep in the hands. Okay. So let's go ahead and get the Shrine down. We can add mana with the Channeler, but I think at this point, uh, we can we can go for Black Sun Zenith, get, get six Snake Tokens out there, then get down the Coat of Arms the following turn. Do we want to push in, though, right now? It's going to have that Death Touch. Um, I'd rather make sure that we get all of the Snake Tokens, so instead of swinging in, let's go and do for that, go for that. So let's go ahead and remove a Black Counter. Uh, we're going to add Black. We're looking at... Um, we need to put three across everybody. And then, actually, let's go ahead and let's add Devotion to Green. Actually, hold on. Let's let's resequence that. So let's go. There we go. Add devotion green. That's gonna be four. Um, let's go black. Let's go black sun zenith. And I guess at this point, yeah, we can go and go black sun zenith for four because that'll take care of Thrasios. Yeah, I like that. So we're looking at one, two, three, four. It's gonna be four put on everybody. We should get six snake tokens for that, and then we'll be online for a nice little uh, beastmaster ascension next turn. Okay, let's go and always yield. End up with six snake tokens. There we go. And then next time we can go for coat of arms and go from there. Uh, we could have gotten into spots where maybe we could have swung in for one with that one little snake token, but we definitely weren't going to swing in with the patcher and we weren't going to swing in with the channeler. Uh, with the channeler. So I'm okay with this one. We're going to get really close to an active beastmaster. I guess we, technically we could have swung in with the snake token, had one trigger on there, and that would have turned on an active beastmaster ascension. So maybe we could have done that, but. Um, I'd rather have gotten into the snake. So, and then plus, to be honest, we have the coat of arms to get down, which is going to be a nice little chunk of damage. So, depending on what they get out, we can go from there. And we don't really have to worry about a curse catcher either. So, I'm okay with that. We're we are looking at one, two, three, four. Um, we're looking at one, two. We have two devotion on the um, between the Sylvan Library and the Beastmaster. So, hopefully, we hit a lane drop uh, from the Sylvan Library. Then we'll be able to get down coat of arms and have a nice little snake army coming in hot. Okay, they do tap out for that. See, we hit on the Sylvan Library. Dude, awesome. We hit a forest. Beautiful. We're going to use Sylvan Library's ability. Fell Warstorm Mindstone. Uh, let's go and put that on top of the library. We're going to put that on top right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the forest down. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and get this coat of arms going. Oh, yeah. And then green. Coat of arms. Each creature gets uh, plus one for each other creature. Oh, yeah. Some nice little beautiful snakes coming across. I will take that. Let's go and swing in. We got six times six. That should be a nice little. Uh, Oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess we could have technically... We, we could have swung over that snake earlier. And uh, hit always yes. Yes, we're going to use that ability. Yeah, we, we should have gone. We should have hit the uh, swung over the snake to get the Beastmaster online. That would have been a little bit nicer. But then maybe they block and we lose something. So swing it in. See if our opponent's going to uh, block or anything. Okay, our opponent scoops it up. Well, not really scoops it up, but they just allow the snakes to come through. But yeah, I'll take that. We could have had an active Beastmaster Ascension, but, you know, kind of would have depended on how it went down. But yeah, finishing my Nekasaur video. Hey. Sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, I don't like posting videos where I, where I lose like that or I make a mistake, but um, 
we were getting ready. Uh, my wife and I were getting ready for a Memorial Day party, and I was just man, I just got to the got to the end of like a two hour recording chunk and I was just like beat and I was tired and I was ready to not be playing magic and when I get to the point to where I'm <laughs> ready to not be playing magic that's when I need to kind of cut it off so uh, videos like that are always kind of a last resort but especially if I make a mistake like that but hey is what it is that's what magic is it's about learning from your mistakes and getting better as a player so all right everybody if you enjoyed the video like and subscribe thanks